This refrigerator door is not closing properly at all. You can see a gap between the fridge and the body. This is a no frost fridge, and frost free refrigerators cool with air circulation. Due to this gap, the air moisture goes inside the refrigerator, which affects the refrigerator's cooling, and the ice is also shown on the evaporator of the fridge. So let's get to work and fix this problem. If we see the door's alignment, it is entirely out of place. See, the door from this side is aligned but is bent downward from the left side. Let me show you the door by moving it back and forth. See, as I am moving the door, the door is moving freely, which means that the door has a lot of play with the hinge installed. I have to fix this play in the door. Now, I will unscrew the hinge installed on the downside of the door. This way, I will pull the door down and make the door separate from the freezer's door. This hinge has three screws, which I am unscrewing right now. Then I will be able to remove the door from the refrigerator. See, I have separated and removed the door from the refrigerator body after unscrewing the hinge. If we see the door cam, it has been worn out. The same as if we see the top hinge's pin. It is also quite rusty. Watch again the cam is worn, and the door center has been out of its place, as it has been used for over a decade. I will remove all that rust from the pin using sandpaper. The rust is removed now. The radius of the pin is 7 mm. Now I am drilling a 7 mm hole inside so I can install a new cam inside the refrigerator of the same size. The cam on the lower bottom side of the refrigerator is also worn out over a period of time. I have this old cam that I am going to install for the door's lower side. You can order a new one from any online store according to your required refrigerator model. I will make a new one for the upper side of the door. See, I have this old cam for the upper side of the refrigerator door. I have made this new which will be installed on the door's upper side. See, I have put it inside that door hole. Let's see how the door is now than before. I have installed the door and the door's alignment is fixed now. Now it has no such back and forth movement when I shake the door. Now it has a bit small fault still left in it. The gasket is not sticking with the refrigerator after still being aligned to its normal position. Before fixing this gap, let me tell you that the refrigerator hinges, both here and top side, can be adjusted according to your need to align the refrigerator but varies from refrigerator model or company. I have also adjusted the fridge according to my need. However, the lower side does not have the adjustment. I am now applying heat to the refrigerator door seal rubber. I push the rubber a little in front of me. As I keep heating the rubber seal, it will be in its usual place. This happened because the rubber had hardened from using the fridge for a very long time. Now see, after heating the door rubber seal, it has got its usual place where it needed to be. Now you would be wondering if you had no heat gun. Then you can use a hair dryer or pour hot water on the rubber seal to make it return to its original position. Push the door seal to the front and let it get colder. This way, the door not closing refrigerator will be closed properly. This is for today's video I will see you in the next one. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next. And subscribe it's free. Thank you.